Hey, housemates, want to play uh, whatever um, this thing's name is? <laughs> Of our probably very short list of chicken games. Look at all those chickens! So it's no surprise that games get published with different titles in different parts of the world. This game has been given a very different name, arbitrarily, every time it's introduced in a new country, or arbitrarily not. Picamino, 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 Picamino seems to have been initially used for the French version but then also chosen for the English version. Picomino was undoubtedly chosen for the use of these domino, Picomino, domino shaped game pieces, which we're trying to collect. But the game has nothing in common with dominoes. However, the game has more enduringly been seen with some form of the game Heckmeck or Heckmeck M. Bratwurmeck. The word heckmeck doesn't really mean anything. It's a nonsense word, like jibber jabber, fiddle faddle, flap doodle. And it's, and it's a bit like the sound of chickens, you know, heckmeck, heckmeck, heckmeck. I mean, maybe if you're German, I guess. Am um is German for around, simple enough. And bratwurmeck is one of those delightful German words made up of strung together bits, but also there's a colloquial pun in there. The word refers to the backyard grill where we're serving up some grilled worms. Yum! The brat worm in the back corner, like the like in the, like in the backyard alley or wherever your grill is. See, so string it all together, and it's the game of silly chickens making a real ruckus around the backyard grill. You know, earlier game boxes showed dice, while newer versions really show off that grill. Other fun names this game has gotten include in Dutch Regenwormen, like that. In Hungarian, kak kak kukak kak, or something. In Spanish, it's the very fun Pico Pico El Guisanito. Like uh, in Italian, it has the dramatic title Il Verme e Trato, meaning the worm is drawn. The Korean title looks kind of like this, uh, but it's pronounced Kokomino, which apparently just means little boy, so that must be confusing. And then there's the Chinese which is pronounced chong chong shao kao pai dui. Um, and it translates to the very satisfying Bugs Barbecue Party. So the game is basically a press your luck dice game. We want to collect these domino pieces, you know, with worms on them, because we are, after all, chickens and more worms is better. We do this by rolling dice and choosing to save all dice showing one face. Once collected, we can't save that face again this round. If we roll dice and can't set aside any dice, then we bust. Also, if we didn't take at least one worm per turn, then we bust. When you bust, you flip over the highest domino because we made too much of a fuss and the fattest worm rolled off the grill. However, when we end our turn and don't bust, add up your dice and take the domino with that number on it. And like regular chickens, we can really fuss and fight over the last thing someone else picked up. So keep your dominoes in a nice pile. If someone else has the exact domino we just rolled on top of their pile of dominoes, then we just take it from them. But if it's, if it's not on the grill and not on top of someone else's stack, then we take the next lowest numbered domino. And that's pretty much the rules. We happen to have the deluxe edition of the game, which has all these extra wacky wooden bits. So when we collect the domino, we get any bonus piece stacked on it. And then, and these, these do a bunch of different stuff. So the canned worm is basically, you know, you always have rolled at least one worm, even if you didn't. Uh, the golden die is an extra die with worms and ones on it. The weasel lets you re-roll dice once per turn. The hen sits on top of your stack of dominoes, protecting them from thieves. Then we also have these nifty worm tokens. So whenever we collect a pair of ones, we also get a token. So that makes the golden die more useful. Uh, and also um, the crow flies away and leaves one of these worms as a gift, like as a, as a free token. So that's cool. And these count as extra points at the end of the game. Huh. Press your luck, fussing over dinner, an expansion with crows, and of course, uncertain chickens. 
you know, I may have an idea of just what game we'll play next week. When all the dominoes are claimed or flipped over, the game ends. We count up all our worms, and the person with the most worms wins this antique bamboo and difficult to film uh, fishing pole, you know, for the, for the worms. But I didn't catch anything. Hmm. Not enough worms, I guess. Housemates, I'll see you at the game table.